In honor of Pride Month, we'd like to feature Tech Sergeant Leonard Matlovich, who is known as one of the first airmen to out himself publicly to challenge DOD policy on homosexuals serving in the military. And at the Enlisted Heritage Hall, we have a display called Barrier Breakers, which features Tech Sergeant Matlovich's story. Tech Sergeant Leonard Matlovich is a pioneer in the LGBTQ plus community. He is credited with being the first American who's openly homosexual and featured on the cover of a major U.S. publication. But he's also the catalyst for challenging DOD policy on homosexuals serving openly in the military. Tech Sergeant Leonard Matlovich was uh, the son of a Chief Master Sergeant in the United States Air Force, which is what drove him to the decision to join the United States Air Force. He served in Vietnam and he earned a Bronze Star and a Purple Heart while he was in Vietnam. He then was stationed at Travis Air Force Base in California and he was stationed there in 1971 when the race riots happened. It was a three-day race riot on the base where several dormitories were actually burned down. Mm -hmm. And as a result of what was going on with race relations in the Department of Defense, we decided to stand up the Race Relations Institute. We now know it as DOMI, or the Defense Equal Opportunity Management. Institute. Um, and at that time when they stood up the Race Relations Institute, the Department of Defense asked for volunteers across the DOD to come help write curriculum and start teaching. So Leonard Matlovich volunteered for that. And he ends up going to Florida where he starts writing the curriculum and then he starts teaching this race relations curriculum across the Department of Defense. Well, while he's doing that, he's, he's teaching how to interact based on race, religion, and gender. He has this epiphany and says, I'm not even being true to myself. And so he outs himself as homosexual to his chain of command in 1975. And as a result, he ends up with a dishonorable discharge and a court martial. And at that point, uh, he then leaves the Air Force and goes on to San Francisco to to start his life. And what he didn't know was that the LGBT community was looking for someone who was essentially the ideal candidate in order to challenge DOD policy. They thought he was the ideal candidate because he was the son of a Chief Master Sergeant. He had served fairly honorably, minus the, the moniker of being homosexual, and he had the Bronze Star and Purple Heart. He told them that they could certainly use his case, but he did not want to be involved with the appellate process. He loved the Air Force and he did not want to speak disparagingly about it. Um, also at that time, the Air Force did not know that he had already posed for the cover of Time Magazine in his blues. So it became a public relations nightmare for the Air Force. Here he was just having gotten kicked out and now he's on the cover of Time Magazine across the nation in supermarkets. <laughs> and finally an appellate court came back to the Air Force and basically told the Air Force, hey Air Force, you had this policy in place that said, if someone was found out to be gay, they could be kicked out. But if someone outed themselves, you had no policy. You have to reinstate him. Seven years had gone by, so at that point, the Air Force then had to reinstate his enlistment, and they gave him back pay seven years as a, as a tech sergeant. Uh, so that was a hefty check that Matlovich ended up with. Um, once. Once that enlistment um, was reinstated, the Air Force offered to allow him to re-enlist, to which he said, no thank you. With the honorable discharge, the Bronze Star, and the Purple Heart, he would have been eligible for any national cemetery. But there's very strict guidelines as to what you can put on your tombstone. He wanted to make sure that was his legacy and death. And so he purchased a dual cemetery plot in the Congressional Cemetery in Washington, D.C. And then he got real creative with what he wanted on the tombstone. Instead of his name, he put a gay Vietnam veteran. And he also put this beautiful quote that, where he wrote, when I was in the military, they gave me medals for killing a man and a discharge for loving one. It also had two triangles, the upside down pink triangle and the right side up pink triangle for his birthday and his death date. The upside down pink triangle is actually the symbol that the Nazis used for their homosexual prisoners in concentration camps, versus the right side up pink triangle was the symbol of the gay rights um, movement in the 80s and in the 90s. Even after Don't Ask, Don't Tell, Matlevich's tombstone, where, his, where he's actually buried in the Congressional Cemetery, became a bit of a mecca. That's where people would go and secretly have re-enlistments or marriages, and now it's out in the open. People definitely go there to have military ceremonies and, 
and even weddings. Throughout the decades, the United States Air Force has had several airmen who have fallen into the LGBTQ community. Tech Sergeant Matlovich is just one example of someone who publicly outed himself to challenge DOD policy. We invite you to come and see his display at the Enlisted Heritage Hall and see one of the airmen who have broken a barrier.